Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays, the Superhero League of Hoboken. We last left off, we uh, rescued a tiger that was trapped under a Liberty Bell, who when we sprayed him with nitrous oxide gas, rather than him ripping us to shreds upon lifting the bell, he burst into a whole set of jokes. <laughs> and we got a whistle. Not sure what the whistle's for, but we have it. We also fixed the Liberty Bell. Anyway, we're gonna go into the thing here. We're going to use our now newfound helicopter. And, uh, yes, we're going to take a ride back to, uh, uh, where is we gotta go? Oh, back to JFK. Yes, uh, let's, let's leave there. Apparently it's the only place we're allowed to actually frag and go. <laughs> Okie dokie, and we're going to head to 13-7. But not before a band of five nasties comes up on us. And it's all, of course. You schmuck. Thank you. 84 damage! There's what I'm talking about! 528 experience. A f oh, another 40 count bag of power pills! That should really help. Really help. Rest because Treader Man's down. And we were going to. 13 7? No. One structure stands tall above the ruins. A strange oval structure surrounded by acres of crumbling asphalt. Several large layers still cling to the. Uh, crookedly. It still cling crookedly to the fa facade, spelling out Elmo Park. Belmont Park. Power uses four tokens, because that's what the tokens are for, that's how you get in, to, uh, to get to the turnstile. Belmont Park, you're standing in the middle of an oval-shaped field, overgrown with tangled weeds, surrounded by billboards and what may have once been tiers of seating. An arched gate leads out to the east. Nearby is a group of racehorses. What could you call that? A pack of racehorses? A field of racehorses? One of the horses move, you spot a familiar figure. Entropy. The feed is surrounded by horses and by equally large number of sore rats. He's be he is busy spraying something into the air. <laughs> the bumblers from Hoboken. This time you're too late. My special mating scent has proved efficacious, and as you can see, my mares are quite pregnant. <laughs> uh, you seem to have forgotten we fooled your plans twice already, dude. Indeed, many of the horses are quite heavy about the midsection. That's frightening. Soon, they will begin birthing a new species of horse rat. Or rat horse. I haven't decided. <laughs> In either case, order will succumb to chaos. <laughs> Entropy chuckles in the sort of deep, rolling way that one associates with evil menaces. Um. Look at the racehorses. Kill. There are dozens and dozens of horses, most of them pretty swollen with unborn horse rats. The horses have a fearful look about them. Perhaps they're anxious about their imminent birthing traumas, or perhaps they're just naturally fearful. Some horses can be evil that way, especially it can be that way. Especially horses are being exploited by evil fiends. Sewer rats. Let's look at the sewer rats. The rats are big, mean kind of rats. Are, are the big mean kind of rats that you sometimes see carrying off garbage dumpsters single-handedly. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to him because he said the same crap again. Uh, seats. Look at the seats. Presumably this was seating area for which patrons would watch whatever went on in this field. Steel framework. What's this? Steel framework. Framework is a steel structure designed to hold a billboard erect. The billboard that was once mounted on has become the victim of vandals. Perhaps the element... I don't have to look at the walkthrough to know what I need to do here. Where is it? 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 What is this placard? Let me read the placard. Is this it? Now on the construction site, a Stickabus McGob Blue Factory. Jobs for you, jobs for you. <laughs> hey, I wonder if horses can read. The placard mounts easy on the steel framework. 
The horse is seen a sign, panic and bolt, crushing the sewer rats to pulp beneath their stampeding hooves. <laughs> of course, they're going to burst up. A few party members begin chasing the fleeing horses, but you bark, forget the horses, their pant will cause them to miscarry. Go after entropy instead. Well, that's horrible, but also a good way to prevent what's Where going on. Where'd he go? Did but you the... see which way? He's gone. But the field is empty. Another round to you, costume crime fighters. But entropy continues inexorably <laughs> onward. Then near the gate, one of the horses stops, sheds his skin, gives a victorious shout. As he loses last the horse cross him, he calls. He salutes and leaps the turnstile to freedom. As dust clears, you notice a green access pass lying on the ground. All party members, all members of the party gain 900 experience. Okay, we will take the green two pass. Green cat pass. Now we can leave, finally. Uh, well, that's that's lovely. We can we can finally frag and leave. Let's leave. Let let let's leave. Because this is this is just ridiculous. As party access, the turnstile breaks. Looks like you'll be able to get back in without any tokens. Not that we'd ever need to come back here anyway. But what ends? It's what ends. Let's uh let's um let's go back to the thing here. Yes, yes, we're going to leave. We're gonna leave! Go back to the tower, get our new set of missions. Okay, let us leave. Go down. That's fine. Leave. You know, I had a dream where I where I lived in an air control tower of an airport after a flood, and it's like I sealed the whole thing off, and that was that became my home, and I had to get a boat up to the the air control tower all the time. But I lived there. I had to have it guarded because of you know pirates. Yes, I'll pay the twenty bucks. It's fine. We're, we got to go back home. Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Corona and Tree Bark. Yes. The, the, the one of the other missions lost called Leaf Clippings. I need to pay attention to the names because they're hilarious. This communication just in from the Commissioner. The Excellent. SLH is hereby promoted to a level 4 lead. Yes! All members are awarded 4,000 experience points. A grant of 1,000 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. Excellent! Maximum party size is now seven. <laughs> Cheers erupt from the lunch room! The Iron Tummy advances to superhero eighth class. His abilities increase in every area. Captain Excitement advances to superhero eighth class. His abilities increase in every area. You know, I would use Iron Tummy more if it weren't for the fact his only ability was, you know, eating. I, I, was, I would have, he, he would probably would have been great with the, uh, the one ability, but he was more brawn anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Seven weeks later... You're a real up-and-coming outfit, and oh. I'm a real up-and-coming kind of superhero. Oh. Keep me in mind for the next mission, especially if it's a really hard one. Oh. A new set of missions is available. Please go to the briefing room. Half a, half a, half a dozen superheroes just start hitting on her for a date. Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle Pepperoni, who has never once been hit on for a date by her fellow superheroes, looks on with disgust. I detect jealousy from Mademoiselle Pepperoni. And now oh, we have to be able to rest six times. Let's see here now. Mm -hmm. Let me check the walkthrough here. Okay, we got. Uh, let's go into the lunchroom here. Super. Okay, Princess Glove Box. 
Primary Super Refold Road Maps. Okay. Brains 33. Ron only 15, but uh, 52 HP. A Neutron Sword, Diamond Chastity Belt, Suede Stealth Sandals. No gun. Hmm. Uh, info. Princess Glove Box. Oh, Princess. Oh, she's seventh class already. Great. Princess Glove Box had a fairly normal childhood, except that as she grew to a lot of adolescence, her parents realized that she had an uncanny talent for being able to refold road maps. I can do that. Ma and Pa Glove Box sat their daughter down and explained to her that she had a gift, and that she should use it to fight evil and benefit mankind. Thus was born Princess Glove Box. Which now stands before you draped in a uniform that is reminiscent of the interior of a luxury car. I didn't really look into the rest of them, too. Although his stomach is technically not iron, but rather an organically grown Teflon derivative, the effect is the same. The iron tummy can consume very spicy meals and never suffer the slightest heartburn. And what's more, hardly ever gets gassy. His uniform is orange and red with a large I, -T I and T emblazoned over a picture of a chili pepper. My man. <laughs> Captain Excitement, 8th class. Captain Excitement is one of the rare sarcastically named superheroes. He exudes such an aura of lethargy and dullness that he can put all but the most hyperkinetic into a deep snooze. He is clad in a skin-tight red bodysuit with a large yellow Z emblazoned on his chest. Hmm. Seven, seven. She has a good gear store starting out. Now, the walkthrough's recommending me to use Captain Excitement, but, uh, that gear score, though. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Where is she gonna be used? You know what? It's fine. We're gonna use her. We're, we're going to add Princess Glove Box to the potty. She has 42 HP. Let's see, let's see. 42 HP. Only 15 brawn compared to 49, 70, 46, 20, 7, 7, 15. Yeah, we're going to move her closer. I'm sure she'll get better. And of course, we're going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. First, put her in the back. That way I can do the whole hand-me-down crap. And then I'll move her. Okay, we're done. Apparently we're going to be needing her. Also, let's check the storage cabinet. What things we're at at this time. What the hell was the Sable Isotope? No, not him. Puts animals to sleep at 20%. Vial of oil-eating microbes. You know, I should just take that. Or should I not? to see here if I really need to bring that. Where is it? Where? No? I'm going to leave it. Wait, wait, make me look at that. What does that do? Bomb contains genetically engineered microorganisms, mostly harmless unless they come into contact with oil. These microbes can break down 947 times their mass in oil. Microbes in the vial are a suspension in a brown liquid. We're, yeah, we're gonna leave that. I'm going to take this one. Because who knows? Now let's uh, go upstairs and uh, get our new set of missions for it, for the uh, the the, uh, the week. What else the chatterbox for? I never used the chatterbox. Oh, it's a TV. Two-headed man bites dog. A two-headed man, believed to be a rabbit, bit a beagle right in its wee walking, now confirmed to be a euphemism, an onomatopoeia based on the sound that someone makes when you bite them in their wee walking. <laughs> Based on the sand someone makes when you bite them in their wee walking. 
be the little the little anti spam thing at the bottom. Spammers, flavors, and trolls will be bitten there we walking. <laughs> the man was later captured, and since both heads claimed the other head did the biting, both were destroyed. The stolen Staten Island's pawn broker Staten Island pawn broker sent just in. New shipment of canoes and inflatable rafts going fast. The Scottaway Festival of St. Rockwell, check the pawn broker's tent. 4.6 trimmer in Philadelphia, episode at 7 1. Mm. Help! I've been kidnapped by cyborgs! They're keeping me kept in Ben Franklin's house! Come quickly! Okay. Is that an actual mission? Or is it just random crap? Alright, let's check out our missions for there. Religious cult occupying Times Square and is fomenting rest, unrest. There is a religious cult which dwells in Times Square and celebrates an ancient holiday called New Year's Eve every oh, day no. by dropping a ball off a tall building in the square. Why? However, the ball has disappeared. If it is not restored by the next ball dropping ceremony, the cult could riot, fomenting unrest throughout the sector. Times Square can be found in the New York downtown sector. Oh, that's gonna be a walk now, isn't it? Oh, by the way, that mission name was Robin Egg. Bad news. Stoplight. <laughs> is once again at large, this time operating out of the ruins of a sporting facility in an area of Sector 3D that was once known, believe it or not, as the Bronx. <laughs> Our field agents did not report the exact nature of his latest scheme. But he has apparently ordered a great deal of hospital equipment normally associated with cryogenic revival. Oh, that's not good. Your mission is to discover the exact nature of his plan and, if appropriate, take steps to neutralize it. Oh, Lord. Why? Because. Chaos. The sentence of Yale alumni are threatening to sack the library at Princeton. Descendants of Yale <laughs> alumni living on the site of the former Yale campus in New Haven are threatening to loot and burn the Firestone Library on the former Princeton University campus in Sector 1A. This library is one of the region's foremost repositories of knowledge from before the collapse. Its destruction would be an unequal disaster. You may need to visit both the campuses in order to pacify the Yale tribesmen. Transportation to New Haven may be available in southern downtown New York. Oh lord. Code name Wee Wee. <laughs> Superhero League of Flushing is infested by mice are calling for assistance. We have received a distress call from the Superhero League of Flushing in Sector 3C. They report that their headquarters has been overrun by mice. It appears that they're being a tad panicky, summoning help for such a minor problem. Nevertheless, League protocol dictates that you travel to their HQ and see if you can be of assistance. Of course, why not? And it, super it was codenamed Clover. A distress Clover. Explorers report an important relic of pre-collapse Americana in the Philadelphia sewers. Explorers returning Mud. from the Philadelphia sector report the discovery of a relic from the pre-collapse era in that city's sewer system. As always, this relic must be presumed to be of vital importance to future historians and scientists and must be brought back here for safekeeping. Of course. Code name Mud. It's gonna be something I don't even want to touch, isn't it? I can bet you. I can bet you! Well, we've gotten our missions for the week. Let us step outside, shall we? Yes, we shall be stepping outside. Have I saved it all? Oh, no, I haven't. Wait, uh, no, no, this is, uh... I need to check. Have I... Oh, no, I haven't. That's a problem. I've done this whole thing without saving. Oh. And also, of course, do the standard, uh crap of moving all items to her. I doubt she'll be able to use any of it. But yes. I figured Neutron Sword's gonna be better than whatever I've got. And then I will, uh... I'll give it all back to Rust Boy. And I'll move her up. I know it seems... This seems... It actually is quite tedious doing this. But, uh, yes. I'll just do all the moving back 
to him off screen. But I just gotta make sure she has the. I gotta make sure off the bat she has the best equipment. Oh, I missed uh, extra large rubber band. 42! Oh, yeah, I definitely wanna move her up a little bit. So. We have a whole new set of mess to deal with. Because Entropy won't stop being a freaking schmuck. But what is Entropy, en Entropy planning this time? And most importantly. Why is the Superhero League of Flushing calling us for rats? Find out next time on the Big Man Plays, the Superhero League of Hoboken. Today's Big Fag Plus, Sayonara. And you think a band of superheroes could deal with rats? I mean, we've dealt with dandelions from hell, uh, chickens from hell, well, roosters actually, bombs, and God knows what are the mutants and everything we fought. But it seems Flushing just can't handle a few simple rats. <laughs>